Hey everyone, welcome to Gaming Under the Influence. I'm Alex, this is Mike. Coming to you live from the Green Dragon bar slash video game store, retail. Best place to play and purchase the newest games. I myself am having right now, since we didn't talk about beer the other time, oh, yeah, Necessary Juice. I think we had this one before on camera. By Half Hours on Earth. But well, it's we're fucking gonna, awesome. We're going to do it again. Shit, Sour I double in the IPA. the video again, buddy. Yeah, it's okay. Shit happens. Sour <laughs> double IPA. Yes, our double IPA necessary juice got some got some mango in there, I believe. What are we tasting here? Oh no, mango. Apricots, peaches, Madagascar, vanilla, and lactose. Hop with the Zaka and Denali hops. Amazing. It's eight percent strong. It's a good Canada Day beer. Happy it's Canada Day that to you. Strong? I didn't yeah. notice. Yeah, fellow Canadians, by the way. Happy Canada Day. Canada. Canada's alright. I think so. So uh You know, you know what else is alright? What? Bloodstain. Yeah, Bloodstain is decent, but we're gonna continue on with our yeah we're blood gonna stain coverage. I guess I guess we're gonna develop our impressions from uh, last week. Our early impressions. We're now about midway through the game. Actually, about sixty percent through the game, according to the uh, I think in game counter. Sixty eight percent of the map unlocked. Something like that. I got sixty one. I don't nice. know if that really is a completion of the game percentage, but of the map. No. Size anyways, yeah. Yeah. Having seen though the entire map, I imagine you'll beat all the bosses and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, There's hidden rooms and stuff. Who knows how? Yeah, man. Like I, I think you could beat the game now if you wanted to. At yeah, the get a bad ending. Gable boss or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I heard that's possible too. I'm not gonna um, do that. How many hours have you put into it so far? I think ten. Right about ten. Or twelve. It might have been twelve up after today. I think I'm about that too. Yeah, about that as well. Yeah, midway awesome. through the game, and we'd like to present you with our impressions at this stage and. Uh, kind of classify this a little bit better than we did last week, pin it down, and uh, at this stage I think we're confident enough with our uh, exposure to the game to do so. Oh yeah, yeah. the game's sick. I didn't think I'd like it this much. Yeah, I didn't think I'd like it this much either. I do like Metroidvania, so that's the kind of game this is. It's the uh, category it falls into, the genre category. It's Metroidvania, what we like to call the genius of the game. It's a Metroidvania, retaining all the conventions and stylings of that genre. Um, and its universe is as... Uh, Koji Igarashi said in the interview we mentioned last week, you know, it's gothic horror, there's demons and vampires, eastern flavored, medieval Europe, very much like Castlevania, Badass. castle appears from nowhere, and uh, there are analogous or stand-in weapons and characters from Symphony of the Night onward. Um, in terms of plot, story, you know, the, the remote matter, uh, a guild of alchemists, you know, kind of pissed off at the waning influence of their wealthy patrons in alchemy, they uh, bind a bunch of crystals to the bodies of children and sacrifice them to accomplish this like ritual summoning of a demonic horde and justify themselves like say hey you guys need us again to their patrons right two of the children survive the first being the protagonist Miriam who pledges her aid to the church or this like weird Japanese representation <laughs> thereof yeah. anyways uh, you know with this like <laughs> lady cardinal or something like that selling you stuff in the basement of some place yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. Uh, pretty it's funny out there, yeah. yeah it's out there and uh <laughs> She pledges her aid to these to the church in defeating the second child who survived the summoning ritual, her childhood acquaintance, the guy who actually saved her from the uh, alchemist guild, uh, her fellow shard, shard binder, uh, Gable. Yeah, and Gable. he, uh, he manifests a supernatural castle, kind of like Dracula. He was a dick. In Castlevania, yeah. And uh, he manifests a demon army to wage war against humanity, like uh, you know, very much in the person of Dracula in this right. game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's in its gameplay and systems, you know, that being a game where most excited to talk to you about today oh, hell uh, yeah. and we love it actually the moment to moment experience of playing bloodstained ritual of the night is fantastic I'm it's sure fun you with me, yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's awesome there's and it always opens like, up now that we've been yeah. gotten further right it really opens up and there's always an itch to like combine different things you've unlocked and uh, we're mm -hmm. gonna tell you exactly why that is you know uh it's a metroidvania in the formula of the igarashi era 2d castlevania games or even a little bit like the recent hollow knight in many ways uh, players traverse the interior of Gable's castle across an interconnected and kind of huge map, expansive map. Uh, yeah. Older areas, like, you know, in the style of Metroidvania games, need to be revisited with newly unlocked powers to access previously unreachable areas, usually containing, like, uh, the way forward, right? Right. Um, after you beat a boss, you go back to the area you were last at, and there's a place you couldn't get before, and now you can, and now you go can, there yeah. to get to the next level. It's yeah. fun for me going through all the other yeah. areas, too, and, like, checking up yeah, which, cool. which areas you previously yeah. couldn't get and to to get like power ups and like the HP max sure, or sure. MP max ups and stuff yeah that's that's an important part yeah. too right it's that's kind of fun for me is like going back and being yeah, like where couldn't 100%. I go before right and uh, the great thing about those uh, HP uh, power ups is that mm -hmm. they also uh, boost your health 
I had that. Which uh, is cool. How many yeah, times did that save your ass? That, that just now when I was playing it, yeah, it yeah. couldn't come at a better time. I was like, oh, man. I believe I, believe I have some footage of that happening to me just mm -hmm. yesterday, like playing and like getting to this point where I was I'm about to two die. seconds from dying. Yeah. And I got one of those and saved me. That was nice. great. Um, a platforming element certainly features prominently. I bet you would agree with that too, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Whole, uh, certain whole levels requiring like this deft mastery of what I think is a beautifully responsive jump mechanic. It keeps you in the air longer and propels you higher as you hold yeah. the input, as in Cuphead, you know, there's a double jump and upward propulsion mm -hmm. that you later attain, which are awesome. Like, we love the double jump. We'll talk a little bit more about that soon, too, though. There's some areas that you can use that uh, reflector ray to shoot yeah. over and then use the double jump to access. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. There, there are a ton of traversal skills. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cool like the one you just mentioned, the reflective skill. Um, this is the shard I was just about to mention to transform Miriam into a laser beam to pass yeah. through, like, tight spaces in between walls, which is an awesome mechanic. And there's certain areas with, like, reflective surfaces yeah. you that you're like, what is that? But then you get the skill, and you're like, yeah. oh, cool, I get it. Now yeah. I can go back and, uh... I was wondering how that was going to pan out yeah. the plates. Yeah. I thought you'd have to, like, move yeah, them or same. something, right? Me too. I tried grabbing them with that yeah, clock. Yeah, yeah. It didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work, no. <laughs> um, another cool thing is that the, uh, the means of you, you progress through the game by is, uh... Via runs from, you know, an achieved uh, save point and through a new area in hopes mm -hmm. of reaching the next save point or a tra fast travel point to go home yeah. to your base. Before uh, dying. Before you die, before <laughs> you run out of high potions, yeah, before yeah. you run out of mana and you're in a tough spot. Yeah, and so it's... Very got, Dark souls right? Yeah, very much, yeah. It retains the uh, exhilaration of, like, a roguelike game with each mm -hmm. run being, you know, not exactly unique, but its own experience, yeah, right? Based yeah. on your skill level and on your build and on how much... Uh, you know, you have in the way of healing Inventory, items. Yeah. It retains that 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 same like thrill, but it you know retains, of course, like Dark Souls did uh, mm -hmm. in the same model. Like I guess maybe it ate that from Castlevania too, yeah. um, back in the day, because the other older ones were the same. It's it's a bit of an old school feeling, dying and and then knowing that you're next. Yeah. You, you just end up it at your last save, save yeah, point. Exactly, you're yeah. like, oh my god. Like, the bonfires <laughs> are very much like that, but it retains that yeah. uh, that that thrill of playing like a roguelike, but still, of course, retains the traditional progression of a yeah. an action RPG, yeah. whether Eastern or Western, which is a really nice uh, balance, of course, you know? Um, but the biggest thing, the bones of the combat system, they're pure Castlevania, right? Like, yeah, yeah. enemies are fought on a 2D plane with various weapons. We talked about this last week, too, each characterized by a distinct range, attack speed. Um, where this game feels distinct, of course, is the shard system, which uh, Igarashi talked a lot about. He said that the people who really want to dive deep into the game will take pleasure in this, and the realization, you know, that hundreds of abilities or shards with different synergies exist to be dropped at sporadic rates by certain kinds of enemies. It helps mm -hmm. us imagine how deep the dive might be. Right? Yeah, like, the customization opens up like yeah. insanely with yeah. the amount of builds you can try out. Yeah, this works into the fiction weapons, too, right? right? Yeah, different types yeah. of... That's, that's really the, the key, right? You get yeah. your, your weapon and you try to find a shard that complements it. Yeah. Right? That allows you to deal with all situations, you know, and uh, they, they work it into the fiction because Miriam's a shard binder, of course, right? She was right. like down with those shards uh, to help summon a demonic horde, but because of that, she can absorb the uh, the abilities of demons. She can simulate a different and thematically relevant ability from each individual type of enemy she encounters, mm -hmm. and they only drop those abilities, you know, on a certain drop percentage, yeah, it's right? Yeah, like so, RNG, right? Yeah, yeah, on RNG, that's right. So it's, it's pretty cool. You can go out and farm multiples of the same. We'll talk about this in a moment, too. On the basis of this fiction, the developers permit the player to equip five different types of shards or abilities, one of each kind, and... Uh, the result kind of reminds me a lot of Diablo 3, actually. I remember we played that yes. together a few years back. Um, Did you play it on expert mode where you could... No, I didn't. You didn't? Oh, yeah, yeah, where you could shift. Yeah, of yeah course. so yeah, it yeah. sort of has... It sort of runs the same way yeah. as this game. Yeah, where you, have, you can't uh, put expert mode on. Except you can't use expert mode, yeah, exactly, which exactly. I eventually started doing in Diablo, and it made it yeah. so much better. Yeah, because you had tons of the same really kind of skill. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I wish you could do that here. That would be great. But That'd be cool, yeah. I don't think they could make it... Well, maybe they could make it work. Why not? Have a dire multiple maybe. directional shards on this different buttons. That would be sick. Oh, yeah, the directional cool. shards are all bound to R2. Yeah. yeah, just one at a time, right? Then you could have yeah. your reflector beam and your uh, damage one. All yeah. At once. That would be cool. But, yeah, you amass an expansive roster of abilities naturally by just progressing through the game. Like, yeah, right? just going And beating the game, types yeah. of enemies. And that's also your primary source of income if you need money, I find, selling those shards. Um, yes. A build can then be crafted based on your preference for a certain type of weapon or offensive spell. And, uh,. That's what we were just discussing, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, you pick, like I saw you there, playing with a great sword, and then you want to yeah. take a shard that helps you complement what the sword cannot do, right? Yeah, there's even one that, yeah. that uh, increases your attack speed because it has that really yeah. slow, like, animation. Sure, that's right. Yeah. Slash, Makes it much so. more viable. Yeah. yeah, there's also a book in that library, but yeah, we can get exactly that later. attack speed, yeah. Non-combat shards also exist, adding iframes to jumps. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite example that I've encountered so far because it allows you, you were just telling that's me... That's like, uh, uh, isn't that an upgrade on the shard for... 
Um, it's actually a shard and enemy drops. There's a separate drops. shard too. Yeah, like there's the high, the uh, the high, the double jump shard. Mm -hmm. Like you get double jump. It's a, uh, it's a weird one. You don't equip it in one of your slots. It's just active. On yeah, the it's side just an there, active right? shard, right? Um, but you do get a shard to augment double jump, which you have to equip in one of your slots. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, and it's pretty awesome. Gotcha. I like it a lot. Man. I think you have to equip it. I'm pretty sure we can verify that after. Yeah. Um, there's also a slot for a familiar shard, and I currently have that ghostly silver knight floating behind. Yeah, me. I have the same. Yeah, I they just give upgraded him, to you him in, in the library, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. He does. He he gets upgraded. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. And there's also a passive slot where buffs to certain stat or attack speed, as you just mentioned, or right. specific resistance can be equipped. And it's possible to collect multiples of the same shard, and they're worth retaining, um, which I was stupid enough to not realize until like very late. So yeah, same. Thing. I started selling yeah. my duplicates way later in. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. Uh, whatever. I had For a bunch potions, of potions. Like, like, potions. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> need potions. But uh, multiples compound the effectiveness of the equipped skill, so uh, that's right. You can like that's keep true. them on, yes. and uh, it improves the grade versus the ranking of the skill, which you improve with materials, right? Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I kept the duplicates of the arrow. Sure. Yeah. That I was using the directional. Yeah, one. I have that uh, grinder one. one, one. Mm -hmm. The uh, previous Igarashi Castlevania games, they did contain RPG mechanics, almost identical to what's on show here, but they didn't permit this like fine-tuning of the combat experience according to personal preference to this extent, and it's also wonderfully incorporated into the universe of the game in Bloodstained, in my opinion. Right? Yeah. I like that a lot. Um, I have nothing to compare it to. I haven't played those other ones, but... Yeah, try them up, buddy. I like them. I might DS try them, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give them to you. They're really yeah. good. Uh, I personally relied almost exclusively to this point on that heretical grinder, the directional yeah. skill. Which, like, when you upgrade it, and um, you can equip something to increase the damage of directional skills at the library, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, you and can. And it becomes, like, amazing. Just wow. on it, yeah. OP grinds, is... Yeah, I have been using pretty much exclusively the arrows. Yeah, that looks good, too. And then I upgraded yeah. to the homing ones, yeah. yeah. That was the only time I switched hard. it out when I unlocked the homing ones. damage from far away, that must be useful, right? <laughs> yeah, you just shoot it over and it... I also use the Flies Silver Knight Familiar. I really can't imagine changing him out unless you find something really broken. Yeah. Whatever, yeah, because he's pretty awesome once you upgrade him, too. I was using the sword for a bit, and he was good, but then when I got the Silver Knight, you could upgrade him right away, yeah. so it immediately yeah, there's, right. there's no point. And you, they give you a bunch of copies of him, too, so he's also much yeah, better yeah. Bad. yeah, They give them to you like they're just on the map. You don't have to grind for them. So yeah. And also that Rava Boral, that weird wind sword, which apparently is like a, a callback to an older Castlevania have that game. One. You can craft it, actually, pretty oh, okay. easily. It's not randomly dropped, which is nice. Uh, and it seems pretty unparalleled for just sheer raw damage output per second, because you can like get off like with all of the attack speed upgrades, like even with non, not even the upgraded one you get late in the game, you can get off like tons. Like yeah, is that the sword times. that slices really yeah. fast, yeah. like really quick? You can get off like four or five per second. So like, if you equip the attack speed with a great sword, maybe the great sword still might do more at this stage. But when you get the late game game version, it'll probably be like it'll be insane. Yeah, it'll be insane. Like, yeah, can't right. wait. I switched it out for the uh, the spiral sword though because it does the same thing. Like you hit once and it only does a bit of damage, it, but it hits like it four spins. Times, yeah, so it's much better. Yeah, some cool fucking weapons in the game. Yeah, there are there are. <laughs> I also really enjoy and kind of can't imagine replacing at this point that welcome company skill, which summons a swirling barrier of those paintings. And the pictures I found out are actually guys who back the game and sent in their pictures. No way, so really? Yeah, like all the pictures you fight too. I was thinking about that. I was like, yeah, just thinking about guys. the possibility of yeah. it being a Kickstarter. Like for all we know, it could have been probably is. Yeah backers or whoever right That's they're not one. developers and no japanese guys i've seen so far right? yeah yeah <laughs> funnily enough but yeah it's that's a pretty good skill too because um it's a little it's, annoying yeah it summons yeah that's right you, those frogs and the yeah. little it does good DPS, too, so I can fight things in the water just by coming close to them, which oh, is nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and it summons, you know, it does a lot of damage, but it most importantly renders, like, exponentially simpler, those very taxing platforming sections where, you know, disturbance by mobs mid-jump, like, and you, you know, constantly plummet to your death and you ruin your current run. It's a very real possibility all the time, yeah. right? So, yeah, that's uh, the build I'm using, and uh, I saw you using your greatsword. Well, great so you have sword. a quick right now. You said the arrows and... Uh, I'm using the homing arrows, the greatsword. I was using the shield for a bit when I fought the the uh, blood lady chick mm -hmm. boss um i think i might still have that equipped to be honest yeah you know what's funny i couldn't uh i haven't messed around with any of the the skills on like triangle on yeah on yeah x on the uh switch yeah the, I, i've had <laughs> cerulean water yeah. the whole time just upgraded and just shooting water things True. i think now i finally switched it out to axe that you just yeah. throw straight but That's even nice that, too. I don't find it as good because the water, like, bounces and shit. Nice. Sometimes it bounces away and then it's like... But you can, like, jump and, like, sort of throw it over, like, a, a hill or something. Like, 
and try and use it strategically. It was pretty cool for like keep the early ones. If yeah, good, right. It, like yeah, it, unless I find a, like a really good reason to switch it out, yeah, I'll, I'll mess right. around with that one for a bit. When you really like test them all out, I guess when they come and that's a lot of the time there's some cool ones, but I find they just use too, way too much mana and they're not that good too, anymore. right? That's like eighty yeah, mana for like cast and shoot out. Yeah, one of the like enemies or something, and then it does damage, but then it disappears, yeah. right? And it costs like eighty mana or whatever. I think it's more important to like get efficient damage out of your mana bar like translate it best into damage output than to yeah um you know get damage per second out of it yeah because... typically i look to i try out the lower mp or cost ones right battery and see which slowly. one you can use faster yeah, yeah and potions are expensive just yeah. a tip too we another thing i was too stupid to realize until way too <laughs> late and spending too much money is that you can you can even craft first. You can craft potions. Craft you can just high grind potions. bats right outside. Of the okay. Area there. Yeah, yeah. You can craft normal potions. Normal potions. And then you can trade four of those for high potions, yes. saving thousands and thousands of dollars. Which by now I would have been able to buy like one of those sixteen bitcoin. Sixteen bitcoin and make yeah. a sick weapon with yeah. craft a. Yeah. yeah. So keep that in mind. There's yeah. a lot. Uh, yeah. There's a lot to uncover still there is, left, yeah, right? There's like there's, there's a lot for sure. Oh man, what a I'm cool fucking game! I'm excited for it, man. Yeah. It's very good. The moment to moment experience is thrilling. Yeah, and movement. Is uh, I, there is a dash skill like unless you move really fast later yeah. in the game? I saw yeah, but uh, yeah, I was wondering don't about that. Age, no, I don't have it. Movement even, uh, I find like in combat, you know, is awesome. Like, just, mm -hmm. You move around super like fluidly and uh, even with the double jump, I fucking yeah. love just avoiding enemies and just yeah, going, it's great. For jumping sure. over everyone's head and just clearing through a room, right? Yeah, continuing on. It's so I find sick. The only I love part it. like I wish was a bit quicker was just traversing long parts of the map on foot. Yeah, you know, I yeah. find myself like just dashing the whole time across because it feels like it goes faster. Yeah, I do that too. If you just Even, walk, I don't yeah. think it is. Or I jump. just do it. Yeah, I know. Right? Sometimes you I jumping. just jump slash the little uh, MP uh, thing. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah, that's cool. Things scattered about, right? That's All the mana for, stuff. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, let's give these guys something to do. Yeah. That's yeah, nice. It's a very well done game, and uh, I suppose next week we'll come back to you with our impressions on how it all comes together yeah, at the I end, hope so. but uh, at this stage in the mid-game, so it's, yeah, it's super awesome to mix all of the shards and abilities and come up with a build that uh, you find is awesome. You know what? I haven't even thought about it until now, but it definitely has like a ton of replay value in yeah, that sense, sure. right? For sure. If you were to bump it up to the high, harder difficulties, and I don't know if it works New Game Plus, but we can find out. We will out. see soon. Yeah. A gun uh, build might be nice too. I noticed That'd that. That'd be cool to try, awesome. yeah. You I can get at this stage already like a pretty killer fire. Yeah. A really high good damage. One. And you get those really good bullets too. And can just you aim them though or just shoot them straight? You shoot them straight. Yeah, you shoot you them straight, straight, right? Aim them by jump, like, yeah, yeah. The altitude, yeah. But there are some that shoot homing bullets too. You can crack. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Which has cool. less damage, but you can just like cuphead style sit there and spam the yeah, boss. Yeah, just spam it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting, but it's not quite as fun to or resort to those tactics. No, I like like melee yeah. combat. In Me this too. Kind yeah. of game, it's sick. Exactly, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, different. But kinds. there's options. Hey, fun. there are. Yeah, it's cool. Even All the spears look pretty try. neat. I would like to try out a spear. I haven't crack. even tried one. I think I tried the katana for a bit, but at some point I just went like damage crazy. I'm like I'm putting on a great sword, yeah. and I just want to like yeah. buff all my attack and just yeah. crush yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a stupid way I want to play, but yeah, it's seriously. fun, right? So I how? think at that point you're better off going for. Uh, Attack speed rather than yeah, strength, right? I've been trying to yeah, me bolster that up with the yeah. book from the library, library and other passive, stuff. Yeah. yeah, good DPS, upgrading shards and whatnot. Yeah, it's sick. fucking cool game. Yeah, I love it, man. Yeah, I love the bosses too. The boss design yeah. is also man. When I'm playing the bosses in a very well, not very many cases, but a number of them so far, I almost feel sometimes like I'm playing Souls. Like we have mm -hmm. footage here of uh, me banging my head against the wall against that bloodless chick for like. I did it at least 15 <laughs> times, you know? I think I got there, like, under-leveled, to be it's fair. I like, four or five, but I yeah. might have been a I little bit higher segment, level. Yeah. I skipped the uh, area where... I skipped the library, essentially. I didn't have any oh, of the okay. buffs. I didn't have any of that stuff. Yeah, and, I had, uh, like, three books at the yeah. time, so... And I didn't have my Silver Knight upgraded. Tries. He only did, like, one damage to her. Oh, yeah. Or not one. It, 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 actually, he was. You actually see in the video. It, he does a fair amount. Yeah. But I found it very difficult, yeah. And I felt like I was playing Souls, and, uh, you know... It's cool. I like how, like, yeah. you usually get a save point... Yeah. A couple rooms away, yeah, so it kind of feels right. like that, right? When they never you die, you sort of have to go back yeah. there and stuff. It does it's, have a very, yeah, sort of for sure soulsy feel, right? It's strange. The difference is like the bosses aren't quite as, you know, you don't have to really learn their patterns so much as not so a way much to damage them efficiently. Right? Yeah, like it's mostly an easier thing. Like with her, I would just jump over her head. Yeah, it's wait for her to do uh, that. 
like shooting attack, yeah. which left yeah. her like open for a second, yeah. and then just slash her in the back. But yeah, it's like like platforming. You do stuff, have platforming right? elements. Yeah. yeah, you have to find a way to position yourself to efficiently do damage. Another thing is the sp- the pit, the sp- the uh, spacing. You know, you really have to mm-hmm. consider where you're standing, and uh, that's something I don't really consider. That's why I like the great much. sword too, because yeah. it has like a f- that's can, that's true too, and it has right? overhead reach as well. It has right, yeah. Nice. yeah. Most of the time, you have to horizontally align yourself with the enemy to yeah, damage yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I noticed that, too, when I was yeah. using swords early on. Yeah. I got used to it, and it was fine, but yeah. now I'm just... I think I'm going to do great swords, swords too, yeah. Like in Zelda with yeah. them. Ah. Fuck yeah, buddy. Sick. Well, I guess that's good for the day. I think so. All right, thank you. This has been a pleasure, and uh, we'll be here next week with more on Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Blood Episode stain. 3 in the yes. Bloodstained series. I know, it's just like yeah. impromptu uh, yeah. trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> We ought to put spoiler warnings in the in the header, eh? Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. All right.